Hello there. Welcome to My Life, My Journey. My name is Eric Kilgore. I'm the owner of Say Cheese Food Trucks. Uh, the reason why I started this channel is because my heart goes out to people. And I love people and I love food. Um, that's the reason why I started Say Cheese. Um, also, I love people so much that I've examined through my life um, what I feel like people need. I think that we all need each other. Um, our biggest commandment, our number one commandment was for us to love. Um, and I love people. And so like that was fitting for me. It was easy for me to um, think about this channel, this YouTube channel, and to talk and discuss different topics that we all go through. Um, because I do truly believe that we all need each other. Uh, there's a lot of things in my life that I've overcome, I'm super excited to share with people. There's a lot of things that I have not overcome that I'm still willing to overcome my challenges and things and share them with others um, because I believe that sharing your issues, problems, whatever you wanna call it, I believe in people and I believe that when you share those things, it's therapeutic. Um, for a fact, I don't know about anybody else, but for a fact, um, me talking about different issues and the things that I've overcome in life has helped me to examine uh, the things that I lack, to uh, give myself praise for the things that I've overcome. And also, it gives me that want and that desire to share with other people because I know that I'm not the only person that has battled with things of drug addiction, severe drug addiction, abandonment from your parents, um, gambling, um, sex, um, being addicted to sex. I, I believe that those that's one of those things that is kind of hush-hush. People don't want to admit it. People don't want to admit to the things that they're going through in life. And you know, I w have to admit that I was that person. I used to be that person that was ashamed until I started growing, until I made up my mind that I was tired of taking from society, being in and out of jail for a great period of my life, um, doing all the wrong things and and expecting for, <laughs> for a good results for me doing all these bad things. And my excuse was because I didn't have a family, I didn't have a background, I didn't have a foundation and um, you know just making excuses instead of just getting off my butt and changing my life for myself. I think that we all as humans we have the issue or we have a problem with identifying that we are the problem, we are the issue. Um, when I talk to people um, you know we, we don't take accountability and that's one thing that that's like the first step in my life I think that will help me and that has helped me is that I've taken accountability from for what I've done and the things that I still struggle with um, we as people we need each other to bring it to the forefront put it on the table uh, talk about different issues um, it's it's therapeutic for me, but um, it can be therapeutic for you too, and I, I believe that. Um, I believe that people are just not on this earth <clears throat> living together. Uh, we all have conscious. We all, you know, we all know how to treat each other. We choose to treat people mean. We choose to. We have a choice in everything that we do, and we're kind of selfish in our choices. And I think that a lot of us can agree with that. Um, if you watch this YouTube channel, you will definitely not see me preaching to you and telling you this is what you should do. This is the God you should serve. Uh, this is the church you should go to. It's not about that. Um, for one, you definitely have to believe that you have a creator. Someone, there's a reason why you're here. There was a purpose for everybody um, on this earth. And a lot of people feel like they found their purpose and they're okay with um, not, I guess, indulging in, in religion. And uh, I get that. Religion is, is tough. Religion is, uh, has been made so bad that we've all lost our morals. 
um, everything that's norm now that wasn't norm back in the day if you latch on to the things if, if you say oh, I'm not gonna do that people will look at you strange uh, so we definitely God is not popular anymore uh, so definitely you'll you'll hear in these videos you know you'll hear God you'll hear that you know we have a creator and what he wants from us because you know man has been ruling this world for centuries and we have not came up with the problems that would allow us to have peace that would allow us to be happy when we look around us today we're striving well when we look around the world today we're like we're trying to vote for the next president we're looking to man to solve our problems when we've negated the fact that we have a creator we have someone that knows us better than we know ourselves. So I don't want you all to feel uncomfortable, but I would never preach or you know say this is what you're supposed to do, but you have to understand that you have a creator and that he wants the best for you. And so in that, I do believe that I, I have a close relationship with God. And um, I, I think that there's issues that's, that you know, we don't have to, we don't have to make it a church. We don't have to make this channel um, a church lesson. It's just regular stuff that we go through in life. And um, we can get through them together. We don't have to be by ourselves. And a lot of us and a lot of you out there feel like you're by yourself. You might even have a full family, but you feel like you're by yourself. I know what that feeling is like. And, uh, you know, the whole thing about it is, is what I've learned is that family is the people that want the best for you. Family is the people, not necessarily that's going to be blood. And um, when we understand that and we understand that we have to work on ourselves as individuals, I think we end up being great people. I think that we can end up being a great nation um, if we understand that people need people. And that's why we're all here on this earth together. Um, I was watching Shark Week and just watching, you know, just animals. Animals protect their own. They they relate to each other. There's a natural uh, there's a natural order to things. And um, you know, we as humans, I think that we lack the support of each other. But when you look at just animals that we're superior to, that we're that we were made dominion over. When you look at these animals, and sometimes, some ways, it's sad to say that they're more civilized than us. And um, I think that these are just topics that will help us to grow. And um, I think that it's really, really important to share. And not to mention that it's therapeutic for me. And I think that other people can find it therapeutic as well. Um, so, in watching my life and my journey, I'm gonna be opening myself up People can ask questions, they can put comments um, at the end of my videos. Um, I'm gonna do a video once a week. Um, it could be more because I feel like I just have a lot to talk about. But the, um, the, the next topic that I'm gonna talk about is something that I feel like is important and I think that it's money. I think that we, a lot of people, um, when we look at watch TV, we look at these superstars, these celebrities, and we want to be like them. Um, a lot of things have tainted our minds to keep us from from being our own selves, not being like someone else. And um, so I think the money, the money aspect of it is like, I want to be like that. I want to do that. I want to have enough money to buy a yacht like that. I want to do this and I want to do that. I think that people lack in the understanding of when you want money, you, you don't think about money. So I'll talk about what we should think about and where our mind should be when we're trying to obtain successes like that. And um, I look forward to uh, your questions and, your, and, uh, and just your thoughts about this channel and whatever you want to talk about. Appreciate you all taking the time to listen. Um, have a good night. Thank you.